Hello. Today we are pleased to present an introduction to the 18th release of Katia V5 as part of the V5R18 PLM global announcement. For the next few minutes I'd like to give you an overview of some of the major enhancements Katia brings with this release. For this presentation, let me focus on four key enhancements which best illustrate the fundamentals of Katia V5. In V5R18, our fully integrated composite solution significantly strengthens your CATIA PLM, our process-centric approach. In this release, we've also delivered an impressive new post-processing analysis tool for composite parts. Thanks to the specific post-processing analysis, the strength of the part can be easily optimized without having to be redesigned. As a result, the quality is increased while the total cost of the final composite part is reduced. In addition, we've delivered a new composite design review environment that provides access to part specifications across the entire value chain, giving us a competitive advantage. The next enhancement targets the second fundamental of Katia V5, design performance for innovation. What designers are mostly concerned with is design speed, alternatives and innovation. There's clearly a need to provide our customers with the right tools to address this, Functional modeling is one of these tools. When designing from scratch or from point zero using CATIA V5, you gain up to 35% in time compared to traditional designing methods. And when modifying, you save up to 70%. Initially made for the design of thin industrial parts such as consumer goods and high-tech, the latest release of CATIA extends its scope to include cast and forged parts for automotive powertrain processors and for machined parts in the aerospace industry. Functional modeling or imagine and shape with manufacturable subdivision surfaces and other design tools are now possible. To support, enhance and extend innovation, we need to constantly feed our design tools with new technologies. For example, with this new release, we've delivered a significant improvement in terms of productivity for the Katia user. CATIA V5R18 continues to dramatically improve design. A new breakthrough called AutoDraft complements the autofillet capability introduced in the previous release. AutoDraft improves productivity of automotive powertrain and chassis designs and optimizes the resulting casting parts. The creation of draft surfaces is shortened as all drafts are computed in a single operation. Today, the gain brought by the auto-draft feature represents a 40% reduction in design time. And this is just the beginning. The next topic I'd like to highlight is collaboration. We know CATIA V5 alone will not make users collaborate on parts or assembly on their own. They need the power of PLM, the collaborative PLM that includes Enovia, Delmia and Simulia. This year, we introduced 3D Live a set of online applications designed to bring intellectual property to life in a single immersive interface that connects people, processes and products. In this context, we've delivered CATIA Live Functional Tolerance and Annotation FTA, review, a tool to enhance understanding and improve decision-making by providing direct insight to FTA. This gives access of 3D FTA to thousands of non-specialist CATIA users. The last topic I'd like to illustrate is Digital Product Rights Management. Based on Rights Management Services, RMS, from Microsoft, this initiative provides users with an out-of-the-box solution to secure and control any V5 data exchange. Digital Product Rights Management in V5R18 offers designers the data protection they need to freely distribute innovative ideas in 3D among suppliers and partners outside their organization with the assurance that their intellectual property is secure. I hope you found this presentation useful. For additional information, download the CATIA fact sheet, which you'll find in the related links of this page. Thank you and goodbye.